hit the road, Jack, you're out. What's up, fingers? What's up, fingers? My stepson, Nathan. So here we are Still in the room. Yeah, with the B movie, the Paranormal, and I'm not going to go. Sorry. <laughs> you tried. Yeah. So um, today, on today's video, we're hoping that it is the end. Of crickets. Of crickets. Um, I think I now have enough feeders between the... Bilateralis, mealworms, Turkestan and roaches, worms. mealworm superworms, and the earthworms. dubia roaches. Oh, and I do earth. have earthworms but as a backup, but if they can eat, if I yeah, we got to do some research. Um, I don't think it'll come to that. I think between the red runners, the dubias, meal and superworms, I think we don't need to buy crickets ever again. And if and if any of these escape, we have Jane on the side. <laughs> Jane the cat. Yeah, yes. she'll take care of them. But uh, I'm going to show you some feeder updates and why I think I have enough now and how it's been going because with some changes I made, I was able to get both the Dubias and the Red Runners to start breeding like crazy. Next up is some of those updates. Woo. Okay, reek. And that's without a bunch of dead bodies in there. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. See, here's me trying to get your cricket to feed too spider and what happens these little suckers oh, they're like impossible to catch and here is my very last cricket favorite spider to watch eat right now. Used to be my green bottle blue, but of course that guy's buried in a million tons of webbing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He ended up biting his own web. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yay. First up, we have the dubious. I had them in a standard critter keeper I kept in a dark place. So if you saw my other video where I had a heating pad, even a small heating pad, up under this, yeah, it burned a hole. So I'm lucky nobody escaped. They weren't breeding. Remember my other video, I was using diapers to add moisture because I did hear they need more moisture. I upped the moisture factor another way. This is what I did. Gotta let these cool down. Subscribe to Lego Legend Box. <laughs> We're completely different genres, kid. Okay, so so I've got my moist dirt in here. I've got glass so it doesn't melt. I've got a cover I made from dollar store poster board so it stays dark. They like it dark. Under the tank, I put a heating pad, and then under that, I put a little piece of cement backer board just so that whatever it's sitting on doesn't get too hot. I've got my uh, platform to keep their food on. Got all my wood. I'm going to dump my wood in there. Oh, but before I do, let me tell you about something. If you don't already know about these, they're amazing. Um, these little guys right here. These little black beetles, these little black beetles, and their larvae. These are a must for your cleaner crew. These guys are great and they breed like crazy. Um, I just wanted to add that the dermistid beetle is not what we want. Those are typically used for cleaning bone. And you'll know because the larvae, they look hairy. And we don't want that. We want a buffalo beetle, also known as a lesser mealworm beetle. And you'll know because the larvas literally look like small mealworms. Here's my wood that's cooled down. We'll put that in there. And just kind of willy-nilly so they have spaces to crawl in. Then let's 
dump the babies back in there. Hi, kids. Hi. Oh, look at them. There's so many. Oh. But wait, there's more. Oh, look at the babies. They, I swear, they look just like sow bugs. The kind I'm talking about don't roll into a ball. But here we go. I hated to disturb them, but I wanted to check on their housing and show you how it was all set up. They'll just go do their thing. We've got water crystals, which need to be topped off. We've got some dubia chow. Put that in there so they have something to crawl on if they get stuck. And some treats. Of course, dog bones. I do put oranges in here. Um, oranges and other things, but they, they chew them out. Look what they did. And to help keep in the moisture, I use the styrofoam leftover from the Exoterra tank that Slade lives in. So that'll go in there. It seems to fit perfect. And a little thing. Now here's where most of the food source is really going to come from. Okay, you ready? Wow, check it out. There's so many. So I keep these upright so their frass can fall straight down. I drop little treats down in some of them for them to chew on. I keep a heating strip across here. And in the middle, I've replaced my wet diaper idea with this which is a meat tray that i hot glued three sides of a window screen and then i filled the pocket with water wet already filled up water crystals and then i occasionally just add water to that so it stays moist in here keep the food in the middle plus the food that's down in the little compartments and extra water just in case but this has made a huge difference. They are breeding so well now, and there are so many. It is insane. The heating pad for this goes in a hole. I made a hole just big enough for the cord using my soldering iron. And then I put hot glue both inside and outside, sealing this up completely. The way I got this through with the plug is, oh, it's hiding back there. I cut the plug off and then I just used a, a replacement plug from the hardware store. I do pick these out and I'll show you what I do with them. I take out as many as I can find and put them in here. Um, I rather them hatch in here because they're easy to grab up for my small slings. Also, because they are so small, if there's any imperfections in this plastic, they could possibly get out. That's why I have the screen on the top too, just in case. Um, but just to help cut down on any accidents, I put them in here. This is a mixture of the buffalo beetles, uh, frass, substrate, water crystals, and a little bit of dirt. And you see I, they've been eating the food. Take these out every couple days and throw in some other ones because they, I don't want them to get moldy. But uh, this is turning to be like compost in here. This is great. So they're in there keeping moist so they don't dry out. And we've got the beetles in there. You see their larvae in there doing well. So every few days I empty those rolls into one of the, uh, something like this. This has a screen on top. And I'm trying to keep track of how many. And I dump them into something like this, an old mayonnaise jar. I made this rolled up little pieces of paper and hot glue to stick. You can see they're doing well. And you can see a vial for water and a lid for food. And every now and then I drop a carrot, which I also pierce with one of these bamboo skewers. Put a carrot down in there. They love it. And uh, that's how I keep them separated. And just a quick touch on this. When you saw this before, um, not this many beetles were out and about. And they're continuing to breed and the eggs and small larvae fall through and now look at this insanity remember before look how many i have wow let's
let's see if I can stick with it and not give in and go buy crickets because the good thing about crickets is what is the good thing about crickets wait a minute there isn't one yes I know I know what you're gonna do you're gonna jump in here and you're gonna say subscribe to Lego Legend Boss yeah gone no more and hey if you just got through this whole video please Please do a like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to Fangs and Legs. Listen to the child. For the child, you would do this. Rise up out of that pumpkin patch. Oh, God.